ان الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا واتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فإن الأستك الحديث كتاب الله وخير هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة وأهل النار وعياذ بالله وإياكم من النار الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد أحبت في الله <coughs> we have a great need to look out for one another and we have a great need to function as a community as a part of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and also as a smaller community to function together and to cooperate in uh piety with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning that we're pious for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we communicate that we interact that we have relationships for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la shaytani and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-aziz wa ta'awana ala birri wa taqwa wa la ta'awana wa la ta'awanu ala ithmi wa adwan cooperate all of you in piousness and righteousness and do not cooperate in enmity and hatred here we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bayyan lana he is clarified for us subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have a duty as muslims to cooperate to ta'awun it doesn't matter your cultural background it doesn't matter your color it doesn't matter your your anything else but it's only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of us are here for that reason in fact i would say most of us as elders here became muslim meaning we left the lifestyle before and we came to another lifestyle which came to a higher brotherhood for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we have bi idnillah ta'ala ta we ta'awun that we cooperate and as a community you have to cooperate because in a situation like this this can sometimes be the situation almost with life and death when you're trying to homestead and when you're trying to build a community that you may need water you need, may need food it may get to one situation where you even need shelter so you have to have ta'awun you have to cooperate you have to know one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have to exercise that piety so if someone calls you and invites you to do something good don't hesitate wa ta'awun ala birri wa taqwa this is what Allah commands you to do not me not no one else but Allah azza wa jalla he commands you wa ta'awun ala birri wa taqwa and cooperate in piety and righteousness wa la ta'awun ala ithmi wa adwan and do not cooperate in wickedness and envy so that means you cannot get with some of the people in the community and speak ill of the others you cannot get with some of the people in the community and plot against the others you cannot get with some or one or three or seven it doesn't matter the numbers but you should ta'awun you have to cooperate in righteousness you have to love one another lillah bas lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah azza wa jalla says fi kitabihi al-kareem يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمه الله عليكم ان كنتم اعداء فالف بين قلوبكم فاصبحتم بنعمته اخوانا الله عز وجل في كتابه المبين يا ايها الذين امنوا او يو هو بليف هيز نوت توكينج تو اني ون ايلس هيز توكينج تو ذا بليفرز ويتش از يو اند اي باذن الله تعالى هي سيز يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله فير الله 
Hakatukatihi, as much as possible, as much as you can fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as much as you can fear Allah and the Salaf as Salih, Ridwan Allah alayhim, they used to say, Taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it means you're adhering to the commandments of Allah and you're avoiding his prohibitions. You're adhering to his commandments and you're avoiding his prohibitions. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you to pray, you pray. Lillah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you or forbids you from uh, drinking alcohol and from backbiting in the Mima, so you stay away from it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So fear Allah as much as possible. Don't die except as Muslims. None of us know when we're going to die. SubhanAllah, we just buried another 17 year old. 17 years old. His brother was buried. When I came here two years ago, we bur they buried his brother. I was at the Janazah. His the younger brother was just buried. Maybe the same people killed him. So you're not you're not guaranteed anything. We're not guaranteed another minute. So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa tumutunna illa wa anta muslimun. Don't die except as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands, وَاَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَقُوا All of you, every single one of you, you hold on to the rope of Allah. That means the Qur'an and the Sunnah. It means the Qur'an and the Sunnah. وَاَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا You hold on to it together. حَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَقُوا And don't divide. So don't let other things, artificial garbage, make you divide. Instead, be as one body. As the Prophet Sallallahu I could sit here and we could sit and ramble for one hour and it wouldn't be rambling because it would be from the speech of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hadith after hadith after hadith after hadith saying that you're brothers, saying that you cooperate, saying you don't backbite, saying that you don't hate one another, saying that you don't turn your backs to one another. In fact, Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called <clears throat> He said, beware of suspicion. Beware of suspicion. For in the dhan, suspicion is the worst of speech. And don't turn your backs. Don't hate one another. And don't despise one another. Don't cheat one another. And be brothers in Islam. <coughs> Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar la ilaha illallah Allahu akbar Allahu akbar walillahi alhamd ahabbat fi Allah as i was mentioning so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa tasimu bi hablillahi jami'an hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah together and do not divide and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same ayah what a supreme and azim ayah Remember the favors Allah blessed you with. And here, subhanAllah, this is addressed to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'in. And you and I, of course. Remember the favors that Allah has provided for you. In kuntum ma'da. Because you used to be enemies. And then Allah brought between your hearts. And then you became brothers. And I remember this. Many, many years ago, as a new Muslim, and I remember two brothers from L.A., two good brothers that, I, that were part of our crew back in the day. One of them was a crip in Jahiliyyah, and the other one was a blood. And they were reflecting on this ayat, even though they didn't know anything else much about Islam, but they reflected on this. They said, Ahi, if I'd have saw you in the streets back in the day, it would have been a done deal. But now look at us. And those two brothers were so close, I think they're still uh, tight together to, uh, to this day. Alhamdulillah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for Kitab al Kareem, Inma al Mu'minun ikhwa fa'aslahu bayna akhwaykum wa taqullaha la'allakum tarhamun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for Kitab al Aziz, He says, Inma al Mu'minun ikhwa. Verily the Muslims or verily the, the, the believers are brothers. So rectify between you. Allah said it. I didn't say it. Fa'aslahu. Fa'aslahu. Fa'aslahu bayna akhwaykum. Rectify between your brothers. So if you see things, especially in such a small community, you see an issue between this brother and that brother, or this brother and that brother, make sure that you you rectify. Say, Ahi, you know, I was just talking to the brother, and he said, you know, he's saying a lot of positive things about you. So I'm wondering, can we have, just have a sitting? Let's work this out, man. We're too, we're too close. We depend on each other. We're too close. We can't have beef. We can't have struggle like that. We can't have fitna in the community. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةَ The believers are brothers to one another. So rectify between yourselves. 
Allah, and fear Allah so you can have the mercy. I don't think anybody here, if I said, does anybody not want mercy? No one would raise their, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody wants mercy. Everybody wants the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another beautiful hadith or two of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Qala nabiya no Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an Abi Hurayrata radiyallahu ta'ala anu qad. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam adina nasiha, adina nasiha, adina nasiha. Qalu liman ya Rasulullah. قال لله ولكتابه ولأئمة المسلمين ولأمتهم رواه مسلم is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام he said a din and a He said the religion is sincere advice. He said it three times. And the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم جمعين that were with him they قالوا they said O Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم for who who is this نصيحة? And the Prophet ﷺ said, he said, it's for Allah. That means you're reading and practicing the book of Allah. He said, Wili kitabi. And that means you're understanding the Quran and striving to implement it in your life. Wili, uh, wili rasulihi. And you're following the son of the Prophet ﷺ. Wili uh, uh, muslimin. And you're following the Muslim leader. Of course, we don't have that here. But if you were in a Muslim country, this would be applicable to you. Wili, uh, and then the general Muslim folk. And that means that it's an Islamic duty that we, we uh, give one another advice. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in, the same, uh, in another hadith, which is also in this hadith, Qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and this shows us the importance of being away from those characteristics which are sinful and madhmuma, like treachery and deception towards one another. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Muslim akhul Muslim, la yukhunuhu, wa la yakhdubuhu, wa la yakhdhuluhu, كل مسلم على مسلم حرام إرده وماله ودمه أتقها هنا بحسب أمري من شر أن يحتق أن يحتقر أخاه مسلم رواه ترمذي in this hadith in uh, Tirmidhi the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said the Muslim is a brother to a Muslim he doesn't he's not treacherous towards him he doesn't lie about him or lie to him and he doesn't deceive him every Muslim Upon a Muslim is haram, meaning that their honor, and well, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, Irduhu, his honor, his wealth, his blood. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Atakwaha huna. He pointed to his heart. He said, Atakwaha huna. That the, 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 the taqwa, it's in the heart. And he said, And it is enough for a Muslim of evil that he belittles his brother. Subhanallah. Just belittling one another. SubhanAllah, watch your tongues with one another. Don't speak down to one another. Don't get arrogant with one another. Don't command one another with arrogance. Be Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said it. He said that's enough evil for, his, for, the, for the Muslim and that there be brothers. And then in one last hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said, I know you're tired, but I can't let you go while I have your ears. I can't let you leave. I can't let you get away from me because I have a hadith of Nabi and Muhammad and we all came to Islam. We all love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi and we all need to hear from the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, and we all need to follow Nabi and Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, salawatu rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi. And this is a beautiful day to begin. The Prophet sallallahu I think it's a hadith of Ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma. He said, Marra nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala qabarain. He said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was walking by two graves. Faqal, innuhum illa yu'adhiban, wa ma yu'adhiban fi kabir. Amma ahaduhuma fakana la yastataru min al-bawl. Wa amma al-akhir fakana yamshi bin namima. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was walking by some graves and they were, there, there were Jews that were, that had died, that were in the grave. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, he pointed, he said, verily they're being punished. And they're being punished in the grave for something which most of the people don't think is a big deal. He says, as for one of them, as they used to not clean themselves properly when they went to the restroom. Akramakumullah. He used to not wash himself properly. That means that that's one of the major sins. If you don't prepare yourself for salat properly, that's a major sin by urinating, getting urine on your garment or on yourself. So be careful about that. So the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the second one. And then he says, Amma akhir. He says, as for the second, or as for the other, he said, Kana yimshi bin namima. He used to walk around with namima, meaning he would spread evil tales around the community uh, in order, you know, to get people, uh, 
to, to spread evil uh, things and evil news. This is exactly the asal of what a troll is when you go on social media and someone is spreading evil. This guy said this, this person said this, this person made a mistake here. Huh. Let's, let's make fun of him. Let's ridicule him. This is exactly that namima, especially when you do it only to gain fame and you only do it to spread wickedness, not to rectify the person, not to correct and not to do good. So this is a great evil. We have to be cautious of backbiting. We have to be cautious of namima. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, to protect us from kuli su'u makru. May Allah wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah azza wa jal bless us to benefit from one another during this beautiful Eid and to celebrate and be of those, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, I am a tashriq, I am al akl wa shurb, with dhikr Allah azza wa jal, that did, I am a tashriq. These are the days to drink and eat and remember Allah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to benefit from one another. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and bless the Muslims everywhere and forgive the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite our hearts based on the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Barakallahu fikum. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Wa lillahi alhamd.